In September, when the first green leaf fades away, Shenangea welcomes a beautiful and lively season. This is a masquerade of nature with an elevation drop of over 2,700 meters. The masquerade begins on the mountaintops and spreads to the valleys inch by inch. Innumerable creatures will join in this carnival. The male seek -a deer's mating calls are echoing in the wilderness, declaring a special moment. Bucks in the eyes of fawns are unfamiliar and don't help take care of their children. They typically leave the herd and live alone. These incompetent fathers won't come back until the next autumn. To the bucks, it seems that breeding is their only familial duty. The Sika deer is named for the white quincunx spots all over its body. Mainly found in China, Japan, and Russia, Sika deer are under first-class state protection in China. They live in mixed broadleaf conifer mountain forests, their margins, and upland meadows. The fawn that was born in June this year is now three months old. All it wants is milk from its mother. To ensure it has enough breast milk, the doe has to consume at least five kilograms of grasses and leaves every day. But the mother can't always be there. And weaning is a must now. If winter comes, it will be too late. This fantastic masquerade at Shenangea can last for about two weeks, during which the beauty of autumn leaves takes over. The plant's affectionate farewell ceremony is for energy accumulation or reproduction. Animals get busy at the end of autumn, preserving their food for winter storage. Autumn is a pivotal season for the fawn. The doe knows when to stop breastfeeding. Only by letting fawns start grazing and weaning them thoroughly can fawns learn to digest grass properly and take the first steps towards independence. Hunger and easily accessible food make fawns start to eat grass. Winter has already reached the mountaintops of Shenangea, though autumn still lingers in the valleys. The slight chill in the air makes weaker lives fade away early. Whether to hold on or to bid farewell to life is the choice made for the continuation of the species. To wean before winter is instinctual for seek a deer. At this point, the weaned fawn that can forage on their own are now grazing ceaselessly. Only by eating and accumulating energy continuously can they survive the forthcoming winter. Due to the freezing coldness and food shortages in winter, this will be their first major survival challenge. <laughs>